whether it's an angled problem or just a horizontal problem. So if they were just being pulled straight instead of at an angle, from this point on, it's the same. You found your net force by finding the imbalance in your horizontal forces. In that case, our net force was 210.9. I'm solving for acceleration. There's only one formula right now in our repertoire of formulas involving forces that has acceleration. That's Newton's second law. Net force equals mass times acceleration. I can write that formula out, substitute in what I know, and solve for what I don't. I can bring back the mass. We haven't used the mass in a while. It's been about forces until the very end. I leave acceleration as just a variable. That's what I'm solving for. That's my unknown. The net force is 210.9. Remember, that represents how much bigger the net or how much bigger the force pulling to the right is than the left. If you look, 549.6 is 210.9 bigger than negative 338.7. Because our net force is positive, I'm anticipating a positive acceleration. So when I divide both sides by 120, I end up with an acceleration of 1.8 meters per second squared, which comes out positive as anticipated. That's also not a horribly large number. Uh, keep in mind, although there's not a speed limit on this particular acceleration, we haven't seen a lot of huge accelerations. If you end up with 100, 200, 300, you might want to double check your work. Also, you could have tried this problem using the original formula that we derived in our lab, which is acceleration equals force divided by mass. So that net force divided by mass is the ratio. But you can see here, we ended up dividing by 120 anyway. So the problem corrects itself if you use the one-step equation.